Happy New Year, everybody. I'm out with the ewe lambs. We're going to give you a little bit of a sheep update. Then there's the ewe lambs we have so far. There should be 29. You can see the steer in the background, it's buying. And we got some tags from Premier. We're starting to put those in. And then you can see the red marks. A few of them are bred to be blunt, most are not. That's unusual. Not sure what happened this year. It's, um, it would be rare for all the Uliams to breed, but normally most. So not sure what's shaken this year, but we are pulling these guys off of the main flock. To see if they do a little better by themselves. I'm not saying they do bad. They don't. It's just we're getting to with the main flock where we're going to have to start feeding more out there. Or we need to reduce the size. So the easy answer is pull off uliams, reduce the size of the group. And I'm not sure if you can see it from here. When um, we grab them and put them in the trailer. And they have little orange marks on their heads and that's from deworming that way we know we got everybody and then as you can see it's really soggy out here this is their field and they have a nice little oh gosh i guess five acres But anyway, there's a closer look. The reason they're all heavily considering going to the right there is because way out is the main flock. So they'd really rather be back out there. But having them in here, we can split the feeding and keep track of these girls a little bit better. And the other various kind of little dots on their butts, those are from dewormings throughout the year. Because remember, these gals were born this spring. And there are 29 new lambs out here. They were, if you watch some of our previous videos, these gals were out with the main group. But we decided to pull them. This is not all the ewe lambs. These are the ones that, to be blunt, were easy to catch. These are the ones that when we go out with the haylage, they all kind of gather around the bale. So we just grab them and chuck them in the trailer. But the few that are left out there are a little more suspicious. So we'll probably have to put, put up some gates and make a big catch to get everybody else. Anyway, the reason we pulled them off is the sheep have most of the stockpile eaten the main group so they're relying more and more on just the haylage and then there's some dry hay out there as well so if we pull a few head out of that just pull some out of that group well then there's less demand out there and since this is a ton closer to the barn these gals are easier to manage up here. And since they're younger, 
if anybody's likely to need a little bit of a bump in feed or something, you lambs are always a good place to put it. If you notice, like the gal who's walking to the right right now has kind of a red butt, so she's bred. But to tell you the truth, not a ton of the ewe lambs bred this year, which is weird, which is weird. Usually it's not everybody ewe lamb wise that breeds, but I have to admit, like if we keep 50 back, I'd expect 40 to breed. So we're definitely running less than that. And they look pretty good. They're in pretty good shape. You can see we're starting to, we got in tags to tag the whole group. And we did a couple, while well, we still had them on the trailer just to get a feel for tag placement. Anyway, everybody will be getting tags this year. So anyway, we're anticipating at least 10 more ewe lambs out with the main flock. And they're a little bit more feisty than these gals. So take a little bit more effort to catch. But we'll work on getting a hold of them. And as you can tell, this weather is crazy nice. It's like, I don't know, it might even be 50 today. For the end of the year, that is crazy talk. We've been getting a lot of rain. But wow, this is nice weather. So anyway, that's the scoop on the sheep update. So we'll hopefully add at least 10 to this group whenever we decide to make a big catch. Jason and I were just talking about it eh, two days ago maybe. And honestly, they're so wet that grabbing them Wow, you just get soaked right away. So we were hoping for them to dry out, but it doesn't look like it's happening. At least not in the next couple days. So we might end up just doing it. But the ones that are out there are holding their own. So anyway, that's the scoop from Sheep World for right now. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd love to hear from you and have a super day. Then as you can see from the pasture, there is some grass here, that's for sure. But this won't last these gals all winter. We don't expect it to, But the so they will end up needing fed out here. But the reason we pull them off the main group is we've tried feeding the main group like a bale and a quarter or a bale and a half. And honestly, that's just ends up being such a pain in the butt to get that second bale out there. Then if you leave it out there, they'll tromp all over it. And then they won't eat it the next day. So you gotta take out the part that you don't feed. Then it ends up just being, well, a pain. So it's, we decided it would be easier rather than feeding a bale and a partial bale to just pull a few head off. So anyway, that's what these gals are doing here.